Okay guys, here's a big one. The Canon 24-105 f2.8 Zek USM-IS lens is finally in my possession and yes, I bought this lens with my own money to see if I can basically shoot photos and videos for my events. So, if you guys don't know me, my name is Wadrick and I'm a freelance photographer, videographer here in Malaysia and I mainly shoot in events. So, this lens has got my attention because every time I don't feel like carrying two bodies, two lens, two camera batteries, two SD cards, and two flash, and perhaps wear a camera strap with me. Hence, this could be the solution for my events. Now, if you can notice on the screen behind me, that's basically one of the events that I shot using just the Canon R8 and the 24-105 f2.8. Now, the pictures you see here are JPEG, so together we're going to be looking through these photos to spot if there's any problems that you might occur when shooting events. So remind again, these are JPEGs, or not RAW. The RAW will be another file, but I'm only showing you the JPEGs because these are already corrected to the lens profile. The RAW wouldn't be unless you put it into Lightroom. So here we go. Now the first shot, this is UOB, basically a banking solution here in the Southeast Asia. And if you can see one zoom in, it's, it's pretty dang sharp. And I really, really compliment lenses that can go so wide and still get really, really nice sharpness and contrast to that. Now, this is also what we call the macro capabilities of this lens. As you can see, wide open, you can start seeing these areas are out of focus. And where, yeah, here is in focus. So also from this point, you could basically look into what I would see in lenses, they normally typically would have those chromatic aberrations or locus. We don't have loca here, there's no light shining into the lens, but for chromatic aberrations, basically when you're flashing, right, like the, the light can come in from the ceiling, can come in from ambient lighting. So we're not actually seeing much of the color fringing, which normally taking place of green or purple. I don't see it here. Very good news, very, very good news, very promising. And this is another shot straight up. Right, so now we move into people's faces. How good would this lens render people's faces? Let's see, right? So we got this at 2.8. And this is probably shot at 39 millimeter. So this is a pretty odd shot. It's 39 millimeters. But that's the thing, right? Once you have this lens, you could, you could go ham with it. So at 39 millimeter, at f2.8 with flash, and let's look, and ah, there we go. So, the face is nice and sharp, though not as sharp. You could actually see a little bit of, but I think this is perhaps user error. I don't, I don't think, yeah, oh no, yeah, look at that. You could actually see the details on the, the, the patching and all that, it's insane. All right, then moving on to the next shot. Oh, this is a very beautiful shot. This is at 54 millimeter. So again, I think I basically, he's on a platform and I've just shot it from below him. And yes, look at the sharpness. Now, if you look at his eyes, you can see that these are the lights that's right off from the ceiling. Yes, it is an event space, so there's plenty full of lights, all of colors, all of types, all above. And this photo looks really, really, really sharp, really good. And look at the bokeh balls. Yeah, so this lens, if you haven't seen the specs, this basically has 11 aperture blades. So the more number of aperture blades basically surrounding your iris, you basically get a nice circular bokeh. 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 But if you have, say, a normal lens with 7 or 8, you might see hexagonal shaped out of focus light balls, right? They won't appear in form of a circle. So this... This is nice. This is really nice. Like, it's pleasing for the eye. Look look at this. Like, I am drawn to looking at these lights like almost fairy-like. Like, they look like out of this world, fairy lights that's just floating around the person's head. Beautiful. Now, if you look over here, you can also see this is one of, I, I believe it's the Insta360 or it could be a Ricoh Tita or a GoPro. But this light is the record button. So you can imagine 
how accentuated those kind of lights are shining back into the lens would look like, you know, that's perfect. Ah, so here we go. So these are the more important stellar shots that we want to capture in for events. These are wide angle shots, uh, basically a team building events happening here. So looking into this photo, where are we focused at? We are focused into this girl that's giving up a high five. We can see the hands are out of focus, but that's fine. More importantly is the face face would theoretically be in focus and yes it is in focus though not tech sharp but it is there i am zooming quite a fair bit it is nice now let's look at the foreground again beautiful foreground because of the 2.8 and we look at the background now i would say i would like the background to be a little bit more blur but again, like again, shooting at 29 millimeter at f2.8. So this is like, like one of the key features of this lens. Like it could shoot wide open at wider range of up to 24. But you might not get enough separation when you're shooting at 2.8 at 24. Now, should you want more separation, it's always better if you're going like above 70. You know, you're going to really, really get that separation. So again, more of the company events stuff more wide angle look at the colors like this is insane beautiful colors all around right so what happens when you tilt the camera body 90 degrees you know you get a vertical shot so vertical shot with the Canon 24 to 105 let's see what was the shot at 53 53 cool at 2.8 look at this girl yawning right here. <laughs> hey dude, I mean, this is a nice photo. This is nice. You could, wow, you could actually see the individual threading. Can't really see the brand. Huh. This is nice. This is very nice. Here we go. Now he's standing towards us. Look at the shoes. Oh. That is sharp. Now, one of the complaints that majority of Canon photographers face is our lenses are never sharp. Like even using RF lenses, there are specific RF lenses that are decent, but none can really compare to like the Sigma 35 1.4, you know, those very, very clinically sharp lenses. If you really look into Canon lenses, like even a 35 millimeter from the EF line, it doesn't, it's not that punchy, it's not that sharp, it's a bit hazy. But none of this is the case for this lens. Like, I would say this is sharp, though it could be because he's moving so fast that he's not tech sharp. Again, my shutter speed is just 1 60th. Now, he is moving really fast. The flash may not freeze the entire body in time. Again, more of these kind of shots. Beautiful. Okay, here we go. Now, is this tech sharp? Yes, no, no. This is still a little bit out of focus. Not tech sharp, but again, look at the separation you get, right? Look at how the subject pops from the image at f2.8. I love this shot. At 85, ah, so this is a very crucial focal length at 85, right? Like majority of people would rock a prime f2.85 RF, you know, by buying this lens, you could, yeah, it's 2.8, it's not 2.0, but again, you got it covered, you know, you could easily zoom in to 85. Can we see the individual strands of hair? Yes, we can. Look at that on his scalp. That's sharp. That's really sharp. And the autofocus as well, it's really, really nice and sharp. Like, look at how fast it's moving. You can see the after image on his hands. That's beautiful with the not oh look at the light streak patterns. Nah. That's something. Oh, uh, that that is not the filter, guys. Like when I use this lens, I have no filter on this lens. It's literally just all of its glass. And I'm not sure what's happening here, but I am drawn to this. Ah, uh, okay. Is this an effect of the 11 aperture blades or or is this an effect of haze and really strong light? But dude, look at this shot. You could crop in the image so much 
that it produces a photo like this or you can zoom out and still get a 9 by 16 zoom in and you get a 16 by 9 it's just that sharp it's so sharp like look at that that could be a powerpoint slide like this is how sharp this lens really is beautiful thank god canon made this lens like that's insane to be able to extract a 9 by 16 photo into a 16 by 9 look at again all of the characteristics of the light you see here so these are the lights that was reflecting off the guy's spectacles at first but oh my god this is so sharp every single freckles eyelashes can be seen beautiful beautiful handbag even has the word Celine <laughs> I don't know if that has name but Celine beautiful photo again one of the advantage of this lens again tight wide oh you could you could do everything moment shoots like look you can get a group photo of everyone on stage yet not miss out on moment shoots this this is why you buy this lens this is why you buy this lens and not need to worry on switching cameras because ideally when you're doing this without this lens you need another body and another lens because things happen so fast right like look look what are we at here we are shooting at 24 this is the widest we can go is it wide enough it may be you know your mileage may vary it is to me not wide enough at 24 but look at this moment shoot like this 105 i knew it it had to be right it had to be now what i'm meaning is these are the two photos that are so critical because it shows you to the extent of how wide and how tight this lens can go you could basically get a group shot of everybody doing yoga or Zumba and you could go tight enough to capture in moments where participants are like this basically shouting each other out and this ladies and gentlemen is why I spent 4,000 USD or in my case 14,000 ringgit Malaysia to buy this lens you don't have to worry about another body you don't have to worry about another flash SD card batteries and all that camera strap gone have this that's it that's all you need this is incredible look at 105 this is this is sharp this is really sharp i love 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 whenever i could cut down on my processes right if an equipment cuts down on my process that's where i feel it's worth the money if i can have one sd card less going into my laptop to get the photos out that means everything's on just one sd card that's that's where the money is that's where you're spending that money in luxury in your equipments right look at all this these are a mixture of moment shoots wide shots again you can get the whole table in the frame that's perfect for events um yeah again beautiful so there you have it folks so here so there you have it folks this is my sort of event review of the 24 to 105 of this whole event i've shot 788 photos i barely had any instant in fact i have zero instance where this lens had a faulty connection to my camera so that's great majority of the ef guns adapted to rf has that connection issue so i don't have any connection issues the autofocus works superbly well in any case any conditions even at super low light conditions and i'm yet pushing it like iso 400 in super low light my flash is good this lens is fast this lens can go far can go near that's all however there is a disclaimer that i must make if you are looking into this lens as a one or be all for an event chances are answers would be a yes and a no now in my honest opinion is this the one lens that you can bring to all of the event and not bring any other lenses my honest answer 98 percent of the photos that i took 99 i would say i would push it that far to go 99 are shot using the 24 to 105 perfect coverage now there are the one percent in which i only took two group photos 
and the groups are this big. So as you can see, even in a group shot this large, I still can't get everyone in in my 14 to 35 effort. So needless to say that if you have zooming in to 24 millimeter, you are missing a lot of people. Hence, the perfect combo which I would recommend you bring into your event shoot would be the 24 to 105 f2.8 and couple that with a wide angle lens, something 14 millimeter and below. You just wouldn't know one day if clients would be gathering up like this. And if you're with 24, you will miss this shot. This, this is a beautiful image. This would have not been possible with 24. This was shot at 14 mm f4, right? So, the majority of times you'll be using this lens and in the 1% of time, you might use something wider. So there you have it folks. I hope I've given you enough information about using this lens for event photography strictly. Now for event videography, I've yet to done some, but I will be releasing a video once I've done an event videography with this. Now at the time being, I'm not able to balance this on any gimbal that I own. So I'm yet to search for an alternative to that of a gimbal that can equip the 24 to 105. So there you have it folks. I hope I've answered your question about the 24 to 105 with the sample images I have. If you have any other further questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't already, subscribe because it helps with this channel and I can make more content just like this.